Hey there, before we get into part two, I want to rewind a little bit and go back to a spot I missed talking about a little further, the exterior of Tiffany's kitchen. I'll show you the inside, but there's some stuff that happens on the outside with Eleven coming out of the woods. So let's go to that now. Okay, so in the back of Tiffany's kitchen, there's a scene where Eleven comes through the woods here and you can see this rock as she comes through and he's taking out the trash under this it's toby from this is us he's benny which i'm sure everybody knows by now right benny's taking out the trash she comes through the woods sneaks in because she's she's hungry you know she's in survival mode want to eat something and so this this is where that scene filmed so when the the shot actually just look at the scene is a ground shot like this and you can see 11's feet on the ground like that they come into frame to pan up to her head here frame and then turn around and you can see this is where Benny, a.k.a. Toby, comes out and is taking trash out there. We jump this little ditch here. That's it. That's pretty much all that happened back here. Douglasville. This is where the arcade was. The exterior of the arcade. Same paint. Everything looks to be the same. Well, as far as the, the, the paint color and whatnot, they use this for the exterior. The sign stood there, the spinning arcade sign. And this is about the shot, though. Well, the shot that I have is the screen grab. So I believe this is a door to it. And this is the inside. The flooring might look the same. So I guess they did film on the inside. At least some. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there's a Demogorgon or Mind Flare right here in the sky over the, the arcade. That's pretty much it for this location. Not much to see. We can't get inside, you know, it's... But, um... Yeah, this is what they use for the exterior. Alright, right down the road from the arcade, still in Douglasville, is... The Farmer... Hawkins Police Station. As you can see, it has changed quite a bit. Uh, they, I ju we just talked to uh, one of the guys that, uh, I don't know, he's one, um, not a police officer, but he, he actually works in here. He said if he, we would have got here two hours ago, he would have uh, showed us around, but they renovated it quite a bit. He said that, that uh, Stranger Things is actually still using archi archived exteriors because they knew they would use it in the future, and they knew that uh this building would be changed in the in the in the coming years so uh this is what it looks like today it's it's changed quite a bit he said it looks nicer inside than it does outside but well, this is a quick exterior shot say so it looks like the same flag post this little sign pretty creative right public services and that's it quick stop moving on to the next spot. In Palmetto, here we are at the Piggly Wiggly, aka Bradley's. I'm not sure if it was Bradley's in the show or they just kept it there, but it's Piggly, Piggly Wiggly Express. 
and we'll go inside check it out see where uh, 11 bought her egos This is the aisle. This is the aisle where uh, Eleven gets Legos. It would have been the fourth door here, kind of like that. You see the D in the background. This is the door. Now today, I don't know what's going on, but well, for one, they don't have Legos in this in this aisle anymore. They might have at one point, but now you just have Tyson products. The actual Legos, you can see the milk background, which nothing's changed. Everything looks exactly the same. See it? Check it out. So, the Egos would be probably on this, but this whole cooler, all of this is like out of service. These are warm inside. So, yeah, I already got that here. But this is where they would have had the Egos or in real life, but they're all, it's it's just a busted free cooler. So it looks like they don't have Egos today. So we'll just be lining shots up. That's all you can really do at this point. But this is the aisle. I think even in season three, she's like sitting in front of the aisle. Kind of like that. You have this shot. Young lady, you know you have to pay for those. Hey, stop right You have to pay for those. Stop right there. Thief! Thief! Oh. Trespass. Where? Do not trespass. I'm back there. I wonder why this they... This right here. That's it right there. That's it right there. Is it for sale? Is it? Oh, you can't even really see it. No. Well, you can't really drive there. I didn't realize there was on a hill. <laughs> buyer's house. The roof of the buyer's house is all I could see. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should pull up a little closer, we'll see it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hmm. That's it. Here's another angle from it. It's really hard to see because you've got this... You've got this, like, hill. And these they let their dogs out. What's up, buddy? Where's Joyce? Where's Will? <laughs> go get Will, will you? We're here for Will. Are you gonna go tell your mom? Yeah. There's the other ones right here. Come on, bud. Hey, oh, you're so sweet. Look at you. You're very nice. Okay, we're gonna leave. You gotta get out of the way, okay? Hmm? Gosh, come off and go inside. All right, well. Okay, we just arrived at Gwinnett place the, the mall used in Stranger Things and there's base camp set up crew trucks 
they're definitely filming something. I don't know if it's Stranger Things, but because they're filming, they're always filming something. There's Starcourt Mall. And you can see the black tarp covering the... I'm gonna try to keep my phone from being shown, okay. There's a tarp covering the entrance of that side. But anyway, uh, I, I don't wanna go, I don't think we can go around that, that other aisle. That's what we came for anyway, right there. Okay, we were just on that that parking lot, which is the wrong parking lot, but this is where we wanted to be. This is the exterior that, that is used for Hawkins Lab. So, yeah, I mean, it even actually says there's a sign over there that says that this, this building is vacant. So I don't know what it was, but um, this is what they use for, for Hawkins Lab. I'm pretty sure interiors are done on set. But it's a really cool building, and it look it's, it looks very, very for movies, you know. So that's it, man. Pretty cool. What's even cooler is over here. You can see a little bit of the Atlanta skyline. Definitely not Indiana. Oh, look at that built. Look at those balconies up all the way up there. Ooh. <laughs> Hawkins High School. Isn't that cool? Wow. They, they use, so I guess they don't they don't have the, the signage up for the Hawkins Middle School anymore. Alright, so we just made it to Hawkins Middle School and uh, security kind of wants us to leave. He just like he just said not too many pictures. Actually, they, I'm sorry. We just made it to Hawkins High School. Security is right there. In the middle school, the one down there. I think we can. He drove by and just said not too many pictures. So that's kind of like our cue to get out of here. So we're gonna do that. Uh, this is obviously a live set or set pending for filming. I believe this was the middle school and they turned it into the high school because the kids are in high school now. So that's it for now.
you ever visit the Wheeler House in East Point, Atlanta, no trespassing. Photos from the street only. This means you. Oh. Okay, so just two houses to the left. Again, five houses on this street. Stranger Things. Just two houses on the left from the Wheeler House is Lucas's house. Right here. You can see the kids come up from the house riding their bikes. And again, they've done some filming recently because you got you have this this here. And then right across from Lucas's house is 2545 Honeywood. And this house is never it's, you see it you see it in season two during the trick-or-treating scene. Uh, the kids are in their Ghostbusters costumes and they go to this unknown uh, this, they go to this unnamed owner's house who lives here and they go trick-or-treating it's, it's, it's a lady and uh, there's a shot of them coming out and going through these trees here. I'll show you the angle. Of course it was filmed in the fall. So it's not as green. And you see equipment here now. You see equipment here left over from previous, you know, uh, filming. I think this is this might even be a security guy right next to my right. I hear the car running. You hear that? This car to the right. This car to my right, the Sonata. But you see the, the kids coming down this walkway and the two trees are your right in between the two trees they're talking about uh what justin says oh god i'm gonna forget the chocolate the candy bar if i get another three musketeers i'm gonna kill myself what's wrong with three musketeers what's wrong with three musketeers i don't watch three musketeers yeah it's just nougat but um what's that Stay here. Don't stay too long. Oh, okay. I'm in the street, so I thought it was okay. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm in the public street, so I can do this. But again, yeah, like I said, it's a security person. Uh, that's where the kids come down, the trees there. They're talking about the candy bar and they how they hate it. And then Justin says, Really? You know, that's that's on the top of my that's my top three. So I might have got that wrong a little bit, but right there. And then there's like three other, wait, two other houses further down that we're going to get to here in a second. So, pretty cool. I'm excited for season four. Okay, just a little further up the road, we've got what I believe is Dustin's house. I think you can see this shot from this angle it's a, it's up a hill there's a bunch of trees in front of this you can see they've cut down which is kind of unfortunate it's just added to the shot in my opinion the establishing shot so right there you know all these trees they're gone that's as close as we're gonna get the security lady was not having a good day uh, it's just a very tight well especially because they're filming too and but you know my opinion on this stuff is like if you're gonna if you're going to get permission for your house to be on a tv show or a movie and you don't know how big it's going to get you you need to set your expectations or you should set your set your expectations for something like this to happen in your house becoming another um marty mcfly house or a walter white house it's very likely it could be. Stranger Things is a huge show. And now these houses are forever a part of uh, TV history. You know? So here's another angle. I, I hope we got the right at we hope we got the Well it's just that garage view is I think it's that's in the back. We're not gonna be able to see that. That garage view is what I was looking for. The screenshot another angle of Dustin's house I love these these uh, 
electrical, these light, uh, power lines. So cool. Another reason why they chose this neighborhood is this, this whole neighborhood is just like screams small town, like, you know, Midwestern small town, 80s houses, you know, these older houses. And it's just very, it's perfect. It's just perfect for Stranger Things. Very cinematic. You just see all the kids riding their bikes down these roads. So cool. All right, I think the last shot we have is uh, the last house that we've got. Holland House. That's Barb's house. Barb's house is the next house. All right, we're going there next. Okay, again, the last house on the same street, Piney Wood, is Barb's house, the Holland house. This is where Bob li This is where Bob. <laughs> this is where Barb and her family lived. Right there. Not much else to it. I don't have any screen grabs in front of me. I don't know what angles to, to shoot for. It's, we're kind of really just passing through. Um... Whatever I can find later, I'll add into this this video. But this is it, Barb's house. And even if we all know what happens to her at Steve's, which is in another completely different town on the other side of Atlanta. That's it. Next next stop is the two houses in Tucker, Georgia, where the van flips. Here is the street in the two houses where they did the special effect, the van flipping with 11's powers. Right here in between these two houses, you can see the van flipping this way. And so the address is, uh, it's on Sarah Lane in Tucker, Georgia. One of the things that hasn't changed, except that it's, it's dark, it's a darker satellite now, is that dish right between. It looks like in the movie, in the show, it's more of a lighter shade. Maybe it's a different side light now, but that's about the frame right there. Of course, the van would have been coming from that direction. Comes this way. 